Hello, lovely people, and welcome back to Accidental Adult. It is fantastic to see you here again. And today I'm in my aunt's kitchen and we are going to make Topf or Swiss braid bread. Start by melting 70 grams of unsalted butter in a saucepan, then take it off the heat. You can also use a microwave if that's easier for you. Add 300 milliliters of room temperature milk to the butter and mix. Add 8 grams of yeast and 1 teaspoon of sugar to the butter and milk, whisk together, then let it sit for 10 minutes. In a big bowl, add 1 teaspoon of salt and 500 grams of flour and mix to combine. Next, please do as I say and not as you see me do. First, remove the whisk. Then add your wet ingredients, one cup at a time, and knead with your hand until the dough slowly comes together. And now I shall demonstrate why you should not use a whisk to mix the dough. Okay, this is lovely. Barb, you should have told me not to use a whisk. I gave her the other one. With the other one, it's okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's, it's okay. Now I, I will need it, I will need it. Nope. <laughs> All right. You are fighting with the material. <laughs> no, it's okay. It looks good. You want me to do it because I'm stronger? No, no, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so don't use a whisk for the ingredients. Use your hands mm -hmm. and knead. <laughs> After the dough comes together, turn it out on a lightly floured surface and knead it until it becomes smooth and elastic. This should take around 20 minutes. Maybe I just need... I need some work on it. I have never made bread before. I don't know if it shows. I feel like I'm working out. Yeah, you have your work out. Now this, here, and we cover it nicely. Cover with a damp towel or plastic wrap and let the dough sit until it doubles in size for about an hour. Oh! oh. Yeah, now it's fluffy, fluffy. <gasps> it's so fluffy! Yes! Oh my god! Turn the dough over on a lightly floured surface and shape it into a smooth ball. Okay, we cut the dough in half and now we make the braid. Next, roll out each half into thick, equal sized strands. They should be around 4 cm or 1.5 inches thick and around 40 cm or 15 inches long. Okay, we're going. Now I think the most exciting moment is how to form it. Is this a good? This good? Yeah. Okay. Now for the tricky part. There is no way that I can explain how I did the braid without confusing you and myself. So I'm just going to let the video play and hopefully you can follow my lead and get it right. Take your time. You can do this. And then this one goes here. No. This looks right. This doesn't look right. This, ha 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 ha. <laughs> and then this, yes, yes, you see. 
Wait, 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 wait! And then... When you reach the end, pinch the strands together and just tuck the excess under the braid. Okay, okay, you can come check. And you let me know what you think. Wow! <laughs> Next, transfer the bread to a baking tray lined with parchment paper. In a small bowl, crack one egg and add one tablespoon of milk, beat them together and then brush the mixture evenly over the bread. Let it rest in an oven that's turned off for another 30 minutes or until it doubles in size. Look at this! Oh my god! This looks... professional. It's unbelievable! Then it's time for another round of egg wash. While you're brushing the bread, preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit. When you're done, bake it for 30 to 40 minutes or until it turns golden brown. Is it okay if I put it on the wood directly? The ultimate test for a properly baked top is a hollow sound when you tap the bottom. That's how you know you did it right. I turn it and then I, I tap it. Hello. It's good? Yeah. Finally, let the bread cool on a wire rack before cutting into it. So you start here like this. Okay, parallel. Like yeah, this, parallel yeah. to the braid. Yes. Traditionally, tzopf is prepared on Sundays and served with butter and fruit jams. We have it, you get the bigger piece. Oh, thank you. Mm. It's so soft and it's fluffy and airy. Like it this, should be. this was a success. I call this a success. Wow, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Really good. <laughs> and uh, that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Are you hungry? Do you want something to eat? Some no. coffees? Or... No, thank you. I... <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Have I been kneading for 10 minutes or less? I think I've been kneading for less.